I'm live. Hi, welcome back to Derby Date Night Tournament Edition. We are about to watch Athens from Athens, Ohio and Cape Girardeau in the fifth place game for the Small Town Smackdown. This is our 11th of 12 games this weekend. I am joined by Coach Eric from Circle City. Again, hello. Hello again. I'm glad that you're coming to sit at the sit in the third wheel chair for the second time this weekend. I love it. Love it. Welcome to all of you in the chat. Welcome to our third wheel members, official and unofficial. If you want to become an official third wheel, you can do so. We're going to be doing a drawing in the next in the next game for a free T-shirt for one of our third wheel official members, Cruella De Kill, coming out with a quick lead jammer there. Athens with a star pass from. Lee Animal to. Oh, no. No, she Lee went Animal to the box. did not do a star pass. Corella went to the box. Corella went to the box. So we're going to have a two minute jam for our very first jam of this game. Okay, Nikki, Tur Nikki Turkey Savvy, I'm going <laughs> to. This is. <laughs> Yesterday, I think I said that every game today was going to be the third place game at some point. We had a discussion this morning with the tournament officials, and we decided that this is actually the fifth place game. Sirius, stop looking at me like you're a know-it-all. Um, I just wanted everybody to be in third place. But the third place game was actually earlier today between Cornfed and Prairie Land Punishers, which Cornfed won. So Cornfed did come in third place. But the reason why this is the fifth place game is because even though all four of these teams had one win and one loss, one loss, are you shaking your head at me? Am I doing this right? Okay. All these teams had one win and one loss. Cornfed and Prairie Land to get to the third place game, they started out in the winners bracket. So their first game was a win, which put them into the winners bracket. These teams that are playing right now, their first game was a loss, which put them in the Aw Shucks bracket. So that's why this is the fifth place game. This is kind of the championship of the Aw Shucks bracket. Yeah, it's the Aw Shucks championship. Let's call it that. Yeah. Woo! For sure. Aw Shucks. <laughs> Meme Squeeze says, let's go, A O R D. Lee Animal and Cruella to kill work what a wild structure. It's hard when you've got eight teams and you've promised that all teams can play three games. And really, it's a B team tournament and we call it a learnament. So it's really more about playing the games, learning the derby, and having fun with our friends and corn jokes for a weekend than it is about like the actual, like, I mean, it's fun to win, but this is more about playing derby and having fun. Yeah. Nikki's it's like, hard to, uh. It's hard to set up a triple <laughs> elimination tournament and have seedings at the end, kind of. Yeah, and we don't eliminate anybody. We let everybody play three games. <laughs> Rage and Jim, welcome back. Nice to see you again. Go Cape. Finish strong. But you know what, Nikki, Jim, everybody, if you want to call this a third place game, we can... Sirius is like shaking his head at me. He's like, <laughs> I want to know what place everyone is in. So this is technically the fifth place game. But it's also, what, what, what do we say, Eric? It's the championship of the Aw Shucks bracket. I think so. so I would look at it that way. The winner of this wins the Aw Shucks bracket. I like that. That's the way we looked at it last year. So Corn Fed is third place for Cream of the Crop. Yep. But this is choosing first place for Aw Shucks. There you go. Does that work for you, Sirius? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, I don't Whatever. care. <laughs> I've been confused all weekend because they changed the bracket from last year. <laughs> Slam I am jamming for Cape Girardeau and Bad Ash jamming for Athens. This pack is, you know, we're only in like jam two or three, and these lead jammers are not getting established as quickly. I mean, all day long, it's been like, boom, lead jammer, yeah. lead jammer, lead jammer. We're in turn three, and we just got our lead jammer of Bad Ash for Athens. Bad Ash, I believe Bad Ash is the one that I really like, the toe stops. Yeah. To really good toe stop work from Bad Ash. Yeah, she is definitely their, one of their more successful jammers, at least mm -hmm. this weekend. Slam I am did not pass the star and has the star back on. Bad Ash sees that <laughs> Slam is out of the pack. <laughs> Love the hit. single hit. I like that. Wait single a minute. hit. Let me double check. Check the box. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. I'm yeah. going to call it. <laughs> the, the thought. The delay of thought for mm -hmm. just a second. Let me make sure. But it worked out. So now they're going to start. They've got the blocker advantage, three to two. I'm taking a small taco break because a taco was <laughs> literally brought to me right at the end of the um, in-between games. And so I'm sitting here looking at these delicious <laughs> tacos. So I'm going to try not to chew Don't into the lie, mic. Don't lie. You had all of 37 seconds to eat them. 
Yeah, I asked. <laughs> I asked our tournament head official, Shotgun Mike, if we if he could delay the game by ten <laughs> minutes so I could eat tacos, and he said, "You have forty-five seconds." <laughs> He's tough. He's tough. No negotiations with him. Also, he was like, "I'm not delaying a game for you to eat a taco." Oh, a timeout. Official timeout. Oh gosh. <laughs> Bring up the jokes. I can read one. Let me just, uh, you know, being old, let me get my glasses on. Oh, I write the jokes so small. I already oh, did this joke. Hold on. Oh, well. <laughs> Trying not to crunch stuff. In. Oh, my gosh. You know, no, I can technology. Okay. Our vacuum cleaner is getting old. It's just gathering dust. Yeah. That's not even a joke. Kind of. Mm. Maybe. Mm. Sort of. When does a joke become a dad joke? When it's a pair. Yes, good one. You knew that one. That's a classic one. Oh, yeah. Why is Peter Pan always flying? Disney joke, Disney joke. Oh, that one. Not good at the Disney stuff. Because he never lands. Get it, get it, get it. Ooh. Disco says no time to talk about it. Yeah, this would be a good time for taco jokes. <laughs> you, you're giving Disco to box credit. Sirius, Sirius said that's a good one. <laughs> None of my jokes are good, but Disco to Box gets credit. Oh, did you see that spin, jump, and tapping the hips to call the jam by Sweet and Lowdown? That was pretty. Speaking of Sweet and Lowdown, Mame Squeeze says, go, Sweet and Lowdown. Maddie M, let's go, Athens. This is the last game of the tournament for these two teams. We've seen them three times in, the, in this weekend, so... Shout out your favorite skaters. Send us a super chat or a super sticker, and we will feature them on the big screen. Well, it's big depending upon how big you are watching <laughs> it on, I guess. <laughs> we put it up on our big screen. Do you it put does, it up on your big screen? Yeah, it does. Yeah. It looks really good on the TV at home, yeah. Cruella de, de Kill trying to just use sheer force to push through. Trickster pulling the pack apart in the front gets out to get lead jammer status. good wall trust there i like that what do you mean by wall trust the extra just kind of hanging in four making sure that the, that jammer couldn't get it and jump mm -hmm. out to that position while the other three just took care of it that is it really good. hard um mm -hmm. to do especially if you're not one of the ones actively blocking you want to go over there but you got to protect your line whatever line it is that you're needing to protect there <laughs> infamous ga is a badass bad ash well, i'll say i don't YouTube moderate people? They probably do. Uh, Rick says, I mean, sunny. I see. <laughs> <laughs> I watch a lot of YouTube. That's my kind of my source of entertainment instead of TV. Mm -hmm. And I see lots of language. <laughs> lots of language. Super quick. What's, just double checking scores. What state has the most streets? Oh, what's one? Rhode Island. Yes, Rhode Island. good. What do you call 26 letters that went for a swim? Oh, I don't know. Alphabetical. Oh, gosh. <laughs> you both just said, oh, gosh. Oh, gosh. <laughs> what is the name of a very polite European body of water? Merci. Uh, <laughs> that was so bad. That was so, so bad. No. <laughs> Why was the color green notoriously single? It was always so jaded. Oh. Get it? Get it? Get Man. it? Man. Yeah. I'm going to hand these jokes a shovel. They're starting to really have to dig. Yeah. <laughs> that was good. Why was, uh, I used to hate facial hair. But then it grew on me. <laughs> Get it? <laughs> I'm losing it. It's been too many. This is game 11 of 12 for me. Oh, we got this. And I still have my voice. Thanks to Sirius for these headphones. I think it's really saved my voice this weekend. Although I am noticing, while I'm not losing my voice, my voice is getting lower. <laughs> a little bit. Okay, I'm going to take a few bites of this taco. Eric, you want to do a little play-by-play? -play? I will attempt to. It's, it's hard. It's harder it's than it looks. Yeah. No Aria. Melody made himself. What? No Aria what? Where even are you, Melody? That's slam I am versus Lee Animal. <laughs> 
Oh, good rotation. Walls are strong. There's got a shot, got a shot. There it is, Lee Animal out with lead. Slam I am. Oh, that was a good, good secondary block there. That was nice. And she's out about half a track. Should see some scoring here. We'll see if they call or not. If they're just going to run. I heard him yell on call and it took her a second. So they may have stolen a point. Maybe. Oh, I see. I see a number I up. I think so. Oh, there Two it points. Is. Two. Nikki says, my friend always ran early until she died. Then she was late. <laughs> That's a good one. <laughs> I want to know why Melody is telling me no. What did I do? What, why am I in trouble? I don't know. She literally was just here. I don't know where she went. <laughs> Bad Ash and Harlot Oscara. I'm glad you figured that controversy out yesterday. The oh my gosh, slash Scara, Scara. Scara. <laughs> Yep, we figured it out. It's Scara. <laughs> she said the joke. The joke was a no. No, I'm in the officials room eating my tacos. Oh, must be nice. Yeah, I'm just sitting here holding a taco that I can't <laughs> eat because I'm on the microphone. <laughs> Bad Ash is the lead jammer for Athens. Sirius, did you just ask me for one of my tacos? Oh, I'm losing one of my tacos to Sirius. Here you go. Melody is using a taco emoji and our special op emoji. I think over we have four special Derby Date Night exclusive emojis, and the op has been used more than any other. That is definitely the favorite of the emojis from the members. Well, I only have one taco is, left, at least. That is the most truly Midwestern of them all, <laughs> for sure. <laughs> Sweet and low with Corilla to kill. Back on the line. Oh, these walls are good. They're so good. For as tired as they are, I'm impressed. Sweet and low getting the lead. Pretty quickly out with Carrillo, though. Another chase. Are they going to run? Are they going to run? Oh, they did not. I thought for sure they might run. Good O, though. That was pretty. Just played a little inside sweep. Thanks for taking the play-by-play -play on for Ouch. me. <laughs> Melody. Oh, oh, oh. I'm sure it's awesome. <laughs> Have you had one of these tacos? They're so good. They are really good. I did, but I got the red sauce instead of the mm. green, which gave me the hiccups because it was that hot. I just asked you that one. You literally bought me a taco over there. <laughs> I'm clearly tired. <laughs> <laughs> that, that one got, that's the biggest <laughs> laugh I've gotten out of Sirius all day. Blue Swami, go CGRD. Stephen K checking in from Gatehop. Oh, Gatekeepers IHOT Tournament. Hello. We've got some friends out there uh, officiating that tournament. I think we have some friends playing in that tournament, yeah, too. Yeah, City. Hi, everybody. That was the hard part yesterday. I was kind of flipping back and forth trying to catch their game. Gatekeepers have a great live stream, too. I've really enjoyed their live streaming. They do a good job. Yeah, but it's on that other platform. <laughs> Oh, we have a yeah, we have a skate issue, an official with a skate issue. Are those Crocs inlines? Yeah. <laughs> That's what happens when you wear inlines. <laughs> That's what. I'm a I'm a I judge inlines. Sirius knows it. He always he always wears rollerblades instead of roller skates, and I'm always like, oh, I need the classics. I need the four wheels in a square, not in a line. There's got to be a good shape joke there. I don't I know what be. the shape joke is, but there's got to be a good one. At some point in time, I'm waiting to see we'll have an official in speed in lines, this big three-wheel. Some, somewhere there's got to be one. Trickster and Slam again. Slam is out for a good push. Trickster yes. making the line look easy, too. Is Slam jamming every other jam right now? I, at this point, it kind of looks like it. And it's like, oh, big hit. Good awareness of Slam to realize Trickster was right behind her. Mm -hmm. Good legitimate hit, too, on that curve. That's where you get to use that infamous geometry to your advantage. You can mm -hmm. kind of go a little directional, but not really. It looks like it is, but because of the way the track is laid, it's not. Nikki back with the jokes. People who uh, wear rollerblades are just afraid of getting out of line. 
<laughs> that was so good. That's pretty good. Mm, Nikki, you should be a joke writer. I would attend any of your shows. Always good. What do we got? Oh, there we go. Lee Animal and Harlot Oscara. Oh, Harlot getting knocked out. Mm-hmm. That penalty oh. box is a little bit full right now. I was looking out going, this does not look like a full track. No. And, and it's a full are, pack. And it is not. The hits are big everywhere. Nobody wants to give up that lead. There it is. Our little scare out for the lead finally. She's coming in to score. They're still recycling the animal back there. Has the helmet cover off. Looking for that help. Pass has been made. Oh, there we go. Who is that? Ah. That's Extermascate yeah. taking a pass for Athens. Ooh. It, says, it said Indominus Hex on there, but I'm pretty sure 42 is Extermascate. Yeah. It is. I mean, she made her work for it. That was No, wait. That was nope, fast. it was Indominus Hex. I was nope, looking at 42 one. on Cape Girardeau. No. Yep, Indominus Hex. They did a good job taking that star pass. Those number twins always causing problems. <laughs> 42 is the best number. You know. It was mine. Just Oh, uh, was that uh -huh. yours? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'm waiting to see a player named Lou, spelled L-U-E, just so it stands for Life, the Universe, and everything. Ooh, I would love that. <laughs> and we got Ash out again. They give her a rest, I think, is what they did there for a couple jams. She's coming around to score. She's got a good, a good amount of time here. She can probably get all four. Oh, gets knocked out just at the last second. Is she going to call? Is she going to call? Woo! That's the funniest part. Even with the headphones on, I can hear the coaches over there. You're like, call! Mm -hmm. Call! And the skaters are just like, yeah, okay, I'll get to it. <laughs> Niels, our favorite friend from Norway. Rollerblades are not in line with roller derby. <laughs> That's fabulous. I love it. <laughs> We've got about 17 minutes left in this first half. As a reminder, we've got memberships now. So if you want to be a member of the Third Wheel community, you can join our practice squad, charter team, or like Eric, you can become an all-star. All and you get lots of cool perks that come with it. You can check that out on our YouTube page. And somebody who joins this weekend is going to be winning a Small Town Smackdown t-shirt. Hey, now. I'm an all-star. <laughs> no more singing due to copyright issues. <laughs> Actually, Sirius said it's okay. I don't know why. As long as we're singing it, yes. I think as no long as we're background. singing it, yeah. it's not the actual music. But I think I lied and told Melody. If she's listening right now. She's going to get mad at me. <laughs> 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 I might have told Melody otherwise. Slam gets through, gets it called. But maybe... Oh, they said somebody to the box, but I wasn't sure who it was right there at the end. All right, speaking of penalties, Athens keeping it low. Indominus Hex with two, a couple people with one, but for the most part, keeping it pretty clean. Cape Girardeau, a few more. We've got a couple people with two. The Great Catsby, Cruella, Infamous GA. A few that's people not, with one. That's not too bad for not too first bad. quarter. We're, yeah. we're halfway through the first half. Yeah. Oh, Netherland or Holland. I said yeah. Norway. What the heck? Oh, yeah. Those aren't even close. Just You, have, you should have to wear orange just to apologize. <laughs> What are, what are, so Netherlands colors are orange? Oh, yeah, like their national team and like on their uh, King's Day and all that stuff, the whole country is decked out in orange. I want to go over there on King's Day. I so like bad. orange. Zero, zero on that one. That was a short mm -hmm. jam. This is low scoring for being 15 minutes in. Okay, Niels is not our favorite from Norway. Niels, and <laughs> Niels is laughing at Norway. Niels is our favorite from the Netherlands. <laughs> the Netherlands sounds like just a mysterious place. I'm going to the Netherlands. <laughs> Lee Animal and Cruella de Kill jamming for their respective teams.
Cruella just out there. She goes. Ooh, lead jammer. Cruella to kill. Oh, good stop, but she can get up and go. Ten. Uh, uh, oh. Got to be able to get up just that much faster than the blocker. Mm-hmm. Ooh, getting all the way through there. That star is off the animal and has been passed to the pivot. Is that Indominus Hex again? Uh. No, it's just crazy. One of my favorite blockers of this tournament. I really oh. enjoyed watching Just Crazy. <laughs> I was like, that's impressive. <laughs> I was waiting for just the duff of the turn. I could read the mm -hmm. number. Sometimes, sometimes I can get it, but sometimes not so much. So one of the reasons why I love the number 42, as, as you know, the answer to life, the universe, and absolutely everything. Uh, I was in a... Um, math tournament once because I'm a nerd and <laughs> we did not know the answer to a math question and we just decided to answer 42 because it is the answer and it was the, the answer. answer. Oh. Mm -hmm. Sweet and low down jamming for Athens and slam I am for Cape Girardeau. That was maybe the quickest lead jammer Ash. establishment. Yeah, that's Ash. Um, <laughs> they, I, keep, I think they, that is do they have similar numbers because I think this has happened before where Ash has been has, where it has said sweet and low down when it's actually Ash. Not sure. I can tell it's Ash by those toe stops on the inside line. Oh, yeah, because, yeah. So Grabbing Ash those is, four points. Are they Ash close? Ash is 2-1-3. Oh, Sweet and Lowdown is 2-3. Uh, so yep. there's just the one yep. in the middle. Makes sense. Slam I am is chasing Ash down. And Ash is calling that jam off before any points can be scored by Cape Girardeau. Bringing that score to 45 to 28. This is close. And low, 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 low scoring. Considering the last game, what two teams just played? It's been a long day. <laughs> <laughs> Don't laugh. Uh, Rolla, Rolla, Rolla Rockets and Chicago, the last game, Rolla had 100 points by halftime. Yeah. Although, could. Mm, mm, Athens? Mm, I don't know. I don't know. These teams seem pretty well matched. Nobody's moving. Didn't the jam start? Yep. There we go. Unlucky Chucky. Hit a Jamming for Cape Girardeau. That was a little bit of that jammer play defense for a second mm -hmm. and then, then go. It's always hard as an announcer when nobody moves. I'm like, <laughs> I'm ready to talk. Do something. <laughs> it's like poke, poke. <laughs> Sweet and low down out about half a track behind Unlucky Chucky. <laughs> Did you hear the audience member? <laughs> Get your points. Unlucky Chucky taking Good a push call. to the inside yep. and decides to call the jam. Did grab a few point, a couple points, three points for Cape Girardeau. Melody to gave me a couple weeks ago when she was reffing on that because they blew oh, the yeah? whistle and they were like, "Jam on!" And like I went out and made fun of her. I was like, "You don't have to tell them; they know." Jam on! So yeah. then, as soon as the whistle blew on the next jam, she before anybody even moved, she's like, "Jam on!" <laughs> I was like, "All right, I see how it's gonna be." I love how we all know each other well enough in this community <laughs> at this point that uh, <laughs> we can predict what each other's gonna do. <laughs> Trickster jamming for Athens and. Sketchy Morels for Cape Girardeau, a Morel mushroom. Sketchy Morel's uh, daughter uh, skates for Junior Roller Derby and is Amanita, which is also another kind of a mushroom, which I didn't even know that. There's a lot of Junior Roller Derby skaters um, with Cape Girardeau. There's a lot of moms yes. out there on the track with Junior skaters. Yeah, I knew they had a team. Trickster trying to find some space, pulling that pack to the front, and is lead jammer for Athens. That edge work. I was wondering where Sketchy went, but I just found Sketchy. <laughs> Sketchy's in the penalty box, <laughs> taking a little break. You know, jamming's hard. Sometimes jamming you just is need hard. a rest. The penalty box is a good place to get one. But remember, you only get six. <laughs> Seven, and you foul out. Trickster with the juke to the outside and a smile on Trickster's face. Grabbing four points for Athens. Sketchy coming out of the penalty box. That jam, did that jam end naturally or did Trickster call it? I didn't see. I missed that one as yeah. well. It was across the track from us. So far away. I always forget you have it right here, so I'm looking up there, and then I'm mm -hmm. looking down here. Takes a minute to get 
And we have we have more screens than we used to now. That's why I said you need about six more. <laughs> and then we'll be good. I would get so confused. <laughs> B jamming for Athens. B jammed, I think, once yesterday. But we're seeing B again today. Slam I am for Cape Girardeau. That is not an unfamiliar name. Slam I am getting lead jammer. B just has to get past Unlucky Chucky, uh. who has a great hit to the inside to pull B all the way back. Slam I am coming around on a scoring pass, getting tangled up with these great ARD blockers. That first game, watching them, they have they, ARD has great, great defense. Yeah, the wall is nice and strong. It's they're all pretty solid. Sorry, not ARD, A O R D. A -O -R -D. Is there an ARD in Ohio or somewhere? Arizona Akron. Roller Derby, Akron. Yeah, Akron, Ohio. I think B is the one that came specifically and like talked to us yesterday at Pride. Oh. So they're here for a tournament and they're going to Pride. Yeah. Yeah, double duty. You know. There you go. I didn't have time to go anywhere yesterday. <laughs> oh, are you busy? <laughs> nah. <laughs> I really like them, Slam I Am. Oh, there we go. Mm. I really like it when they jam. Oh, man. We can go full <laughs> Dr. Seuss here. Cruella to kill, chasing down Bad Ash, who is lead jammer for Athens. The uh -oh. Gerardo blockers are running. Cruella to kill, going to the penalty box on it. looks like a back block. I think that was the signal I saw. Is this? Yep. That's what that is? Okay, yep. I didn't see the back block. I didn't either, unless there was some jammer on jammer that we missed. But I didn't see that at all. Bad Ash with a power jam. I know sometimes it is, but it's tough when you're trying to call a penalty on a jammer yeah, and they're Disco, moving. Disco agrees, AKRD is Akron. Oh, yeah. Oh, A, no, AKRD is Akron. So ARD is just Arizona, I'm thinking. Alaska. Alabama. <laughs> now I'm just naming states that start with A. <laughs> okay, see, Jane, speaking of orange, my spouse put on an orange shirt to support McLaren for F1. No spoilers. Thank you, Jane. No spoilers. After Derby Game 10, not realizing it was a rollerball shirt. I knew you'd appreciate that. I do appreciate it, Jane. <laughs> Remember rollerball? Oh, God. <laughs> I remember when everybody talked about watching the race. I was solar babies. Don't, no spoilers, yeah. Nikki Tricky. Don't. I was it just finished, and I don't want to know. Mm, nope. It's finished already? Uh, it started. It will start two. No spoilers. No spoilers. Sweet and low down. Lead jammer, Crella to kill. Coming in with the big hits. Bunch of people went down to the ground. Sweet and low down coming through. Seven minutes left in this period. I feel like all of us who, who watch F1 need to get together tomorrow to discuss the race once you and I have watched it. <laughs> <laughs> That's one of those I want to go to, Canada. It's not that far. Right? Well, uh, they're coming to Chicago at some point. So uh, Sirius and I were talking about going to Chicago. I feel so bad. I've been trying to get roller derby people to like F1, but this is not, like, I, we, don't, we don't need to, t we're, we're, wa we're literally watching amazing roller derby Should've right now. Should have just stayed in Indy, but that's just a personal opinion. Mm. The only outside of that, the only one I want to see in race at is Laguna Seca. I want to see those guys going down the corkscrew. Yeah. Jane is wondering if there's a weird overlap of roller derby and F1 fans. I always joke <laughs> with people that I only like obscure sports. Like, I don't follow basketball. I don't really follow football. A little bit of baseball. But, like, it, I, it, I found another obscure sport after roller derby. And I think we just really like obscure sports. <laughs> Nikki, I said nothing. I only said dot, dot, dot. <laughs> <laughs> This is a 30-point game between Athens and Cape Girardeau with five minutes left in the first half. By the way, I did get to eat my taco. There you go. I am happy. <laughs> These tacos are good. I tell you, the weird, the weird one I've been following lately is the T20 Cricket World Cup because the U.S. team has actually done really well. That's what they want you to go to? Oh, yeah. Uh, Sirius was offered freelance to do that. Oh. Oh. I, <laughs> I would have gone to that. I like 
I like that uh, T20 or the county cricket is really interesting. Yeah, he he was like, can I go? And I looked at him and I was like, I'm literally going to, on a work trip to Houston tomorrow. And he was like, aww. <laughs> Squid took the star, getting that jam called off, but with not before Athens got four more points. We are just under five minutes left in this first half. Starting to slowly increase that spread. Mm -hmm. Nikki, I agree. It is the best, F1 is the best when Max isn't winning, which is why I was questioning the orange. This whole conversation started <laughs> with the Netherlands and orange, yes. because I was trying to remember, because Max fans all have orange, right? But his country is... We hear the national anthem every single week. What is it? What's Max's country? Hmm? He from? We should know this, people. Should. B and Harlot Oscara jamming for their respective teams. Belgium. Belgium. That's right, because his, his fans are orange for Belgium. Harlot Oscara with the lead here. Coming in, getting chased down by B. Here's the team saying, call it. I think B might be stealing Maybe. a couple points there. Oh. One, yep. two. B stole one. Cape Girardeau got three on that one. I mean, I'm seeing two, but I don't know. Maybe I was seeing things. But that looked like two to me. Or did they get three? No, they got three. Oh, no, Cape Girardeau got three. Mm -hmm. Peace for Athens. Yeah, see, I don't know. It's weird when you're looking at referees from a side angle when they're looking exactly 90 degrees of where you're at. Bad Ash jam against Infamous GA. Infamous GA usually blocks. This is fun. I always like seeing a new jammer come out. I, haven't, I think Infamous GA has, has blocked a couple times, but nice. And coming out with that. Oh, no. Oh, no. I Very thought it was lead jammer, but that whistle was actually a penalty for, I think, a track cut. No, it was the contact one. Bad touch. See, so. see, bad touch. <laughs> yeah. Okay, father Dutch, mother Belgian, license from the Netherlands, which is where <laughs> Niels is from. Let's bring this full circle. There you go. Niels, are you even still here? <laughs> We've just been having this conversation, and it all started with me saying that Niels is from Norway, <laughs> which he is not. Bad Ash, lead jammer for Athens. Infamous GA waiting in the box during this power jam. And oh. Bad Ash decides to freeze Infamous GA in the iced. box. Iced. Okay, here's what I think. Instead of feeling like you've been iced as a jammer, I feel like you've gotten another chance. Yeah? Um, yeah? No? No? Depends on the jammer. <laughs> if you're at a high energy good cardio jammer than yeah sure yeah otherwise it's like who's really gassed, again it sucks. <laughs> i've seen it a few times where jammers have been like stuck out there for like three or four jams and that oh, is yeah. always so painful to see oh sweet and low down with a little run 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 up the outside to grab lead jammer for athens when given, this the, GA. When given the chance athens plays really good oh right, right? off the jam that right was one of my notes i had on that mm -hmm. they really do Sweet and low down call on the jam before Infamous GA can score any points. But they were able to get out and get that jam called off. And they got another minute blocker and 30. in the box. Minute and 30 till we go to intermission. So they're going to start with only two. Blue's got one too many. There they go. I found a sticker on my microphone and now I'm just <laughs> peeling it off. <laughs> I hope it's not important, serious. <laughs> Just voided the warranty. <laughs> Trickster jamming for Athens and Slam I Am for Cape Girardeau. Slam is out as lead jammer, but Trickster is, oh, this is a race. This is jammer, jammer. Oh, Slam was like, I don't know. Let's not do this. <laughs> We're just going to call it. Uh, that was a stretch play. Get closer before you call that. Get your friend out of the box. Mm. Just burn, a, burn another 10 seconds off or five, you know, something. It's got to be longer, though, because the jammer, that blocker is sitting. Yeah. So they're going to be there for at least 10 seconds. And that's, you're, you like to live dangerously. Well, just a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, but if you can get, you know, if they get within 10 feet and then call it off. 
B for Athens and Cruella to kill. Oh, see, there's that offense again. It is that offense to on get the line B is good. out. Like I would like to be a jammer for Athens because they're just gonna clear the line for you. Yeah. Great job. I'm noticing Sunflower Smackdown in that pack. I think um, was the captain. Yes, uh, the captain again. Sunflower Smackdown is one of those skaters who you don't maybe notice doing the big shiny things, but Sunflower Shake uh, Smackdown is like absolutely leading that pack yeah. and um, does some really good work out there. I've really been impressed with AORD's defense. Look at that. There comes B again with four more points for Athens. We are at the end of the period, so this will be the last jam before we take a break, but we're going to have 30 more minutes of Athens and Cape Girardeau after this jam is done. Oh. Oh, that was a big fall. Flip the skate there. I thought that might have been a low block. But low not blocks, called. So. Low blocks are the worst because you can't like yeah, prevent no. them sometimes. You're like, nope. I'm on the ground, and then all of a sudden you got a penalty. Yep. And okay. that signals the end of the jam. So we're going to take a small break and be back in about 15 minutes for the conclusion of Cape Girardeau and Athens for the first place of the Aw Shucks bracket. There you go. All right. <laughs> we'll be right back. And welcome back to Derby Date Night Tournament Edition. We are bringing you the second half of the last game for Cape Girardeau and Athens. This has been really fun. We're calling this the uh, championship for the cream of the crop bracket. So we're going to see who's going to win. No, not cream of the crop. Aw shucks. For the championship of the aw shucks bracket. The championship for the cream of the crop bracket will be at 5 o'clock Eastern time between Black Diaspora and Bisman Bombshells. How was your intermission, Eric? Good. Relaxing. Nice. I was involved in a conversation about the fact that Rolla Rockets from Rolla, Missouri have a Stonehenge, uh, I guess a miniature Stonehenge somewhere in their town. Oh. And so they're talking with Cornfed right now about trying to create some sort of a game together with, that will be Cornhenge. That would be amazing. <laughs> Wouldn't it? <laughs> All right, and here we go. Sweet and Lowdown jamming for Athens and Squid for Cape Girardeau. Sweet and Lowdown grabbing that lead jammer status for Athens. It's a new jammer Which, name yeah. for Cape Girardeau. Uh, Squid does usually pivot a lot, okay. but have, I don't think I've seen Squid. Squid does not often take the star right off the line. Sometimes. Sweet and Lowdown got a little slowed down by... Some blockers, but is through for four points. Sometimes you just got to try it. Yeah, exactly. Squid has the star off. I don't know if... Might be looking for Smaxolotl to pass the star. Sweet and low down through for another four points. That penalty oh. box is empty. Serious, since it is the beginning of the second half, if you want to be ready with that penalty graphic after this jam, so we can kind of review where we're at with that. That was a good example on how you defend a star pass right there. Okay, the talk picks. to me about it. So as the jammer attempted to reach around the outside, if those hands are together and they're both holding on to that, technically that's a multiplayer. So if you try to bust through that real mm -hmm. fast. So you can low down through for another four points. Squid still with the star in hand. Has going to have to get past 118 from Athens and does so and is out as Sweet and Lowdown comes through to grab another four points and call the jam, bringing Athens above 100 and the century mark. All right, let's look at these penalties. Where are we at? Pretty low. Indominus Hex with three, Spice World with two, but pretty clean so far for Athens. Cape Girardeau, nobody in the nobody in the in the danger zone yet. Couple with three, but not too bad. Definitely a lot more penalties overall. Yeah, a lot more penalties overall than Athens, um, but and a lot more spread out. Yeah, which is funny because that's the notes I had on this was that Athens was tend tended to oh. be a little penalty heavy in their first two games. It's interesting how a game can feel different than the stats show. Yeah. Oh yeah. I find that I find that really interesting that sometimes you're like, wait, really? That's what happened? That's what the stats say? Slam I am jumping through the pack to grab lead jammer status for Cape Girardo. Trickster on the line for Athens and through on the outside line. Slam I am speeding up a little bit as Trickster's chasing Slam I am down. Trickster sees 
or Slam Am sees Trickster coming and calls the jam. Grabs one point for Cape Girardeau. Yeah, they're just rotating blockers in out of that penalty box, though. Mm -hmm. We need to stop the bleeding. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, uh, B's back up again. They're they're putting B more into the rotation this time, I think. I think also at the end of a tournament weekend when you have, <laughs> you know, you've had three games, you may have had some injuries, you may have some skaters that are like, I can play, but I don't want to jam anymore. So you might see more people in that third game playing in positions they don't normally, which sometimes you can find a secret superpower that way. Yeah. Find that person who's just being successful. That's why I used to love tournaments, because I was like, wait, I can do what? It's because you just tried it, because <laughs> it was, you had to. Harlot Oscara, lead jammer for Cape Girardeau. B is out of the pack. Harlot still on that first score and pass, getting pulled back. Calls the jam. I give them another 8 to 10 before they start running that pretty regularly. Oh, so something if cute that happened during intermission. Uh, Boomington Blockheads, they mm -hmm. had practice, and then they all sat around watching Derby Date Night oh, after no. practice. Oh, no. And they took a little picture of it. It was so cute. That's funny. Hi, I Boomington. Know, we I love know you. most of that team. <laughs> you do? Oh, yeah. I love Bloomington. I think of Bloomington with fond memories because that's where B Cup used to be. Yeah. It's also where Silken Tofu is from, and I adore Silken <laughs> Tofu. One of our favorite NSOs. Who's here, currently, in the penalty box. Don't visit her, Cape Girardeau or Athens. <laughs> as much as she is fun, we're going we're gonna to let her be. Bad Ash is out as lead jammer for Athens. Squid is, has got the star. Good step. Squid's out again? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, it was just a good little step. Just Putting Squid in the rotation, yeah. it looks like, for the second half. <laughs> hmm. I don't know if she's real happy about it or not, though. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you don't have a choice. <laughs> Every time she comes around that far corner, you just hit a look on her face like, oh. <laughs> Some jammers have, like... You could call it like resting derby face or something. I don't know. Because sometimes your face is not exactly like show how you feel. Like I've known jammers who they look like they're smiling and you find out later that they were not happy at all. <laughs> and vice versa. Sweet and Lowdown jamming for Athens and Slam I Am for Cape Girardeau. Both these jammers are just pushing the pack yeah. forward. The pack was not trying to move. The jammers were literally pushing all eight blockers just forward. But Sweet and Lowdown was the jammer to come out victorious with that lead jammer status. Oh. I'm surprised she got back up that fast. That was a good mm -hmm. shoulder right to the sternum. Sweet and Lowdown getting low down to avoid that hit and stay in bounds. Listen to me with the puns. <laughs> Proud of myself. Game 11. I've still got some puns. <laughs> I got a little bit left in me. Well, I wrote down a couple of taco jokes nice. just in case. So we get to, just in case. So <laughs> <laughs> just a couple, though. <laughs> you said that so flippantly and casually. <laughs> That's why it just tickled me so much. <laughs> just in case, though. <laughs> so speaking of not knowing, like what your you know we talk about what, not knowing what your face looks like when you're playing derby. I'm going to have to show you someday some pictures, but I didn't realize this until one of my last seasons in Derby, that whenever I'm tense and playing Derby, I cross my right hand, the two fingers, and they're just crossed. And if you look at pictures of me playing Derby, if you can see my right hand, they're just, cro like, they're just crossed. <laughs> I don't know why. It's the weirdest thing in the world, but I'll, I'll have to show you because there's like a billion pictures of me where my fingers are crossed. Yeah, there's, it's just a weird thing, I guess. Yeah, I've got I've got the one jammer who's the every time even stuck in the pack. Just look at you and just smiling like, hey, I'm having a great time. <laughs> <laughs> just been stuck here for a minute and a half. Aww. I love that. But yeah, you know you know Jesse Beef Juki. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I have uh, earlier this year the, after the first game, I took all the pictures and I made the many faces of Beef Juki. Do you know what we used to call? Because uh, they're juke? all different. <laughs> I don't know if you know this, but Juke sometimes gets a really serious face when mm -hmm. she's really working hard, and uh, we used to call her the Heat Miser. 
if you take a picture of the heat miser and put it next to her, they look exactly the same with that angry little face. That's oh, Sirius knows exactly what face funny. I'm talking about, too. <laughs> Poor Ju. She, I don't even know if she's listening or watching. No, probably like, not. Just, she, she accepts the heat miser uh, nickname. But she was up and standing yesterday at the parade. Oh, we did really? see her, yes. That's wonderful. Yep. I can't wait to see her, like, recovered from that ankle break. And I know she's saying retirement, but she will be involved I, in the derby community for a long time. Mink I Squeeze says, that was awesome, Sweet and Lowdown. Great hit. I'll be whispering in her ear to not do that <laughs> as Unlucky much as possible. Chucky jamming for Kate. Cape Girardo has gotten lead. Trickster is about three quarters of a track behind as Unlucky Chucky has gone through the pack, grabbed those four points, and calls it. That was a good jam. That was a good jam for Cape Girardo right there. There's your maybe. There's your hidden new jammer. Mm-hmm. Unlucky Chucky, who's been pivoting, but yeah, maybe. And Did that's that's well. the fun thing about Derby too is that like you can have a jammer who's like doing absolutely fabulous against one team, you switch to a different team, and you're like, whoa, oh, wait yeah. a second, we need to switch <laughs> style of jammers. And I've totally noticed that in this tournament, that uh, teams have really done a good job of responding to the style of team they're playing by switching up their jammer rotation. B for Athens and smacks a lot over Cape Girardo. I just love saying smacks a lot. <laughs> Smacks taking a hit to the outside. B being held at the back, pushed to the inside, oh. being run back. B's got a good shot. By car crash with that run back on B. Cape Smack Girardo. Smacks yeah. trying to pull that pack out towards the front. Cave Girardo's down on the blocker count. Mm -hmm. Had a shot for a second, but that knockout got a just, blocker. just got ruined Got a blocker it. in the penalty box. Yeah. Still no lead jammer established, but B looks like they're finding a little bit of space there. B now the jammer that's towards the front end coming out with that lead jammer. In corner four. Hard fought. Yeah, hard fought. <laughs> 21 minutes left in this half. You can always send us a super sticker or a super chat if you want to shout out us shout out a player or even just shout out us we uh, bring this to you for free but we always appreciate any donations to keep our stream going and to show your appreciation or, or if you, you can just subscribe or if you just want more rogue in the corn outfit walking across your screen <laughs> did did we get her on screen <laughs> yes <laughs> serious i would like more corn on the screen anytime you have the opportunity if you can make that happen <laughs> She just ran across the other camp. Wait, here, here she comes. Here she comes. Oh, oh. Before that, get get there that get that running corn. <laughs> the corn's coming to, coming for you. Coming for you. Coming for you. <laughs> <laughs> this is the cutest little corn. Anna oh. says, "Amazing blocking spice world." I love that name. Bad Ash on toe stops for Athens, but Slam I am running up to grab that lead jammer. Bad Ash also getting out right behind. It's a race, it's a race. Name that movie. I'm winning. Rat race. Oh, no. Oh. Nope. I said you earlier, Disney. You told me you don't watch things. I don't know. What no. do, you, do you watch anything? Uh, YouTube. YouTube. Oh, that's right. Lots and lots. Uh, a you little could bit, probably like, have a good conversation with my sons. Like a little bit of stuff outside of that. I'm a, yeah, welcome to Wrexham. And oh, I get some yep, of that Sir stuff. Sirius watches Welcome to Wrexham. It's one of his yeah. favorites. Clarkson's Farm is another big one. We... Literally watching show. it right now. I love it. That's so You just listed two things that he is currently watching. Well, if you're a Top Gear slash uh, mm -hmm. Grand Tour fan. Sweet and Lowdown jamming for Athens and Slam I Am for Cape Girardo. <laughs> See, Jane loves the corn running. <laughs> <laughs> oh, big hit. Sweet and Lowdown recovering really well. Do you notice where Slam I Am is? Not on the track. In the penalty box, unfortunately, but that means Sweet and Lowdown can take advantage and get lead jammer for Athens. That had to have been right at the end of last jam. Let's uh huh. See. I didn't see it either. Yep, Let's just see. released at 30 seconds. Slam uh, is. I don't know what Slam was in for. Nice apex jump, though. You got one. Wait, I missed it. Yeah. Oh, I was looking at penalties. You know that's my favorite. A little short one. I only had one person to beat, real quick, but. Right on four. Slam I am spinning up on those toe stops, trying to find some space. 
Sweet and low down, dropping down low. We call that a bean dip over here. Yep. Slam is taking the Did cover off. Oh, <laughs> Sirius goes, what's that? I'm like, you don't know what a bean dip is? And he goes, no, what's this bean dip? <laughs> <laughs> It's game 11. I get accents. <laughs> We're going to start doing accents with Arya. Oh. Uh-oh. I just got a negative reaction from both of you on that one. <laughs> I'm joking. We're not doing accents with Arya. I, say, I know you a little bit. I don't know you well enough to know if that's a good thing or a bad thing. Here's the thing. thing. <laughs> I never know what the accent is that I'm doing, and they all sound... What, what do they all sound like? Russian. Sirius says all of my accents, no matter what accent I'm trying, it sounds like a Russian accent. I understand. <laughs> that was good. <laughs> Spasiba. That means thank you in Russian. <laughs> it's like one of the only words I know. I can't say most of the Russian I know. <laughs> yeah. Has to be clean for the stream, even in another, in another language. Trickster jamming for Athens and Harlado Scara for Cape Girardeau. Oh. We're going to take a small injury break. And we are back. Welcome back to Derby Date Night. We just had a little bit of an injury timeout. Cape Girardeau skater has been um, taken off the track and is being tended to by the medics. Eric's here rocking out to the uh, <laughs> background music, which we've gotten a lot of compliments on our, on our royalty-free background music. It's good stuff. Yeah, it's pretty good. I mean, I've, I've, I've been known to rock out to it. Few times, few times. So during that that injury break, uh, Shay three times is begging for me to do some accents. Oh. Melody has said no. Sirius <laughs> has said this is a bad idea. I don't even think I can do an accent. You did a good you did a good Russian one. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> we were joking over uh, halftime that uh, one hit Wanda, one of our corn fed skaters. Her husband Jordan, he tries to do an Italian accent and just goes, "It's a spicy a meatball." <laughs> Oh, that's, that's all so he does. Bad. Yeah, bad, bad, bad. Bad, bad, bad. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> this is our Aw Shucks bracket first place game we decided. Yeah. The winner of the so. Aw Shucks. Yeah, because they went they went to the they went to the Aw Shucks bracket first and yep. now they've worked their way back up. So this is the first place for the Aw Shucks bracket. And then after this, we're gonna have Black Diaspora and Bizman Bombshells playing for first place in the cream of the crop bracket. I really want to sing a hoedown song right now. Here we go, a do -si do Did you see the skaters <laughs> dancing? Round and round. That's good. Here we go. I like it when they're in good spirits. I do too. I love it when skaters are in good spirits. We are we we are getting a little bit slower in the afternoon here. <laughs> We've got one more game after this. My voice is still holding out. <laughs> Shay says that's better than it's a me, a Mario. Hey, that one was pretty good. Right? Right? Can you do a Mickey Mouse? No. <laughs> Sirius just literally did a Mickey Mouse laugh. Did you hear that? Uh. You're not ever going to do it again, are you? <laughs> I've always wanted to be, like, a voice actor. Like, do, to be able to do impressions, but I can't. Like, literally, to my a, mouth just doesn't do it. To an extent, yeah. It would be fun. Yeah. There I watch too much Critical Role for that, though, so. Oh, which is all voice actors. So. Yeah. They're so good at what they do, some mm -hmm. of their accents. Like, I've tried to create some characters, and they all come out sounding a lot like um, anything that uh, Laura Bailey comes up with. Oh, yeah. So, really, I'm just imitating Laura Bailey. <laughs> I mean, that's not a bad person to imitate. Not a bad person to imitate. Lots of awards. Well paid. Well, guess what? Look, we're back B. to Derby. B, pulling the pack to the front for Athens, trying to get that lead jammer. Slam I am taking a hit to the outside, being pulled to the back. B is stuck in a Cape Girardeau tripod triangle of death. It's going to be hard to get out of. Look at those. It's those three are locked in right now. B is trying to find space. Looks, looking to the inside, getting blocked there. Oh. Slam I am... Both these teams are Getting really good at that. to the back. They're really good at that slow rolling, right? just just kind of hit right to the square of the chest. These jammers are literally Ooh. just pushing. Yeah. Just pushing the packs forward, but those packs are reforming around with them. Oh, everybody down. B takes that opportunity to grab lead jammer to step around some jammers on the ground and become lead jammer for Athens. Slam also took a hit to the outside and got pulled to the back again. Slam has the star in hand. Shouldn't Car crash, crash. It was yeah. shaking her head no. 
I think because Carr knows that they need to get ready for B, and Carr is currently anchoring a tripod, so kind of hard to take a pass when you're anchoring a tripod. Yeah. Um, that was good communication, yes, though, to great. let Slam know you're going to you know, keep, keep working on it. Taking a push to the outside from Spice World. Spice World and who is that? It's always... No, not... Yeah, Spice World and Just Crazy were the ones holding that one down. I've seen those two working together a lot to yeah. hold. Slam was able to get out, and B is on their second scoring pass right now. Getting through on one foot and calling it. That is that that was was a really well pretty. earned A points. That was really pretty. That was a lot of work. Yeah, <laughs> a lot of work. I'm liking the belt idea, though. Now, you know that's very old school derby. I know, but if you had something sim simple to grab onto. Well, also, I if you don't want your entire jersey yanked yeah. off your body, <laughs> which is what usually happens when a jammer grabs your jersey, you're like, whoa, where'd my shirt go? So a lot of there are skaters who wear the belt because mm -hmm. it's an easy grab on. You know it's going to be solid. And I know AK from South Bend still wears a belt. Yep. She's one of, the, one of the ones I've always seen wear a belt. I think there's a couple Cape Girardeau skaters who do. Infamous GA jamming for Cape Girardeau, but Bad Ash coming out with that lead jammer status. Infamous GA right behind. So no points are going to be scored, but those two jammers are going to smile <laughs> and hold hands a little bit as they go back to their respective benches. There's so much. There is so much freaking like love and admiration for each other in this building right now. As I've been walking around during intermissions and between games, I've seen you know skaters hanging out with skaters from other teams. People are planning next time we're going to play each other, and just such a fun community to be a part of. And I always enjoy this at the Small Town Smackdown every year. Yeah, everybody I've talked to has talked about how good, every, how cool all these teams are with each other. Right, right. It's just awesome. Okay. There's, there's a lot of cool teams out there in the derby world. Sorry, I was trying to coach there. I wanted oh, to you were coaching? What were you trying to say? <laughs> <laughs> Tell them to keep going. Get yeah, the person keep going, keep going. You out. got it. Right there. There, there you go. You can go back in. Yeah. There, go. <laughs> there we go. Unlucky Chucky noticing that they can go back in. It does so and is going to hopefully get Sweet and Lowdown to call it here. Sweet and Lowdown. That, oh, pretty, pretty, pretty. Yeah. Sweet and Lowdown getting through, calling it. Unlucky Chucky not able to score any points. AK, AK, oh yeah, AK still does skate for Fort Wayne. AK's gone back and forth. Because now Chaos skates for, oh. now Chaos skates for South Bend. AK went from Fort Wayne to South Bend and now is back to Fort Wayne. I can't keep track. I'm working on it. It's hard when I announce <laughs> for all these teams too. Yeah. Dan, I know that. I'm sorry. <laughs> Dan's like, come on, Aria, you know this. <laughs> Trickster jamming for Athens and Extermiscate for Cape Girardeau. Extermiscate, look at that. Lead jammer for Cape Girardeau to the excitement of the teams. Jason loves using AK's belt for whips. Yeah. Do you hear that screaming? I know, it's, there's some excitement in the building. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I remember when AK was Bone City. I, I don't know. I think AK might have been in a South Bend uniform once. Uh, I'll call her. I don't even know AK's <laughs> phone number, but I'll call her. <laughs> it's been a long 11-game tournament, so if I say any wrong information, just, just let me go. Let me, let me have this one. I'm tired. It's already hard enough when I coach for two leagues. I just can't. You know, <laughs> keeping those players straight is bad enough. Right. Let alone everybody else. It's like B again. And I can't see the Cape Girardeau one. <laughs> Slam I am. Oh, there you go. And Slam I am getting that lead jammer status. Cape Girardeau, Cape Girardeau is doing a good job getting these lead jammer statuses. It's just that Athens has been doing a really good job of getting their jammer out right yeah. afterwards.
I don't know that the last time Cape Girardeau had a more than four point jam. Mm-hmm. But they've Maybe been this lead. Time. they've been lead a lot. <laughs> Shay says, I would like to join the screaming. You are welcome <laughs> to join the screaming, Shay. There's a lot of it happening. People are so excited. We've got eleven minutes left in this game, and then it's time for our championship game at five o'clock. What does that mean? This, the finger up and the... Is that the no pass, no penalty? That's no pass, no penalty, okay, yeah. that's what I thought. Star, has Star Pass been completed? Just crazy now yep. jamming for Athens. Slam I M has scored eight points. You know, this is what happens. You say... I know, see? They haven't had a, more they than have a, they haven't had a big jam, and Slam I M is like, excuse me, I'm going to show you what a big jam looks like. Oh, we should just start using that to our advantage. I've never seen anybody come from... 80 <laughs> points down and tie the game in the there last jam yeah. in the last second. Oh, my gosh. Wouldn't that be exciting? <laughs> I think I, we actually probably have seen that happen. I don't know that I have. Not 80. Not that many points. What is, uh, chat, what 60. is the biggest deficit you've seen somebody come back from? And maybe 60. Maybe. Maybe. But it was even that would have been fairly early, and then it just got, you know, the old chipped away. I'm very aware that I am not very good at estimating, like, Things like numbers and like the space <laughs> of a room. And so I'm not even going to try to like <laughs> say how many points because I tend to, I tend to exaggerate. Stop looking at me serious. <laughs> Time out with Athens. Ooh. Hey, you said you had taco jokes. I have a couple. All just right. Just a couple. Just right. a couple. If you need them. Call me integrated <laughs> instead of interested. Nope. Nope. I, have a, I have a good one for you, though, because you're the big palindrome person since we love palindrome so much. Mel got me into palindromes. <laughs> so what is Taco Cat spelled backwards? Taco Cat. There you go. You know how I know that immediately? <laughs> because I made my son for uh, his pencil box one year. I made him a thing that says Taco Cat spelled backwards is Taco Cat. And it's a little <laughs> picture of a cat in a taco. That's the... Uh, Oh, yeah, Taco Cat is his handle for one of his, like, oh, gaming, there you go. gaming things. Awesome. Mm -hmm. That's a good one, though. Weird Al has that whole song with palindromes. Really? Yeah, it's called Bob. <laughs> it's, and it's literally, like, race fast, safe car, like, all of uh -huh. that. Every, every line in it is a palindrome. <gasps> really? Yeah. I wonder if Mel knows about that. I don't know. Oh, we'll have to ask she her. She will. Hopefully she does now. Yeah, she might be, might be still watching. Her phone. Or she might have mu <laughs> muted me again like she told me she did yesterday. <laughs> she's like, I had to focus on a conversation, so I muted you. <laughs> Hopefully she's on her phone right now. <laughs> Weird Al. Bob. Weird Al palindrome song. Here we go. Oh. Back to Derby. Bad Ash and those toe stops. Fleetwood Smack jamming for the first time for Cape Girardeau. Yeah. Getting some help from Unlucky off. Chucky. Bad Ash coming around on a scoring pass. No pivot to pass to, though. They're in no, the box. they're in the box. Can we see the penalties after this jam series? Yeah, here comes the help, though. Yep, here they come. Wait, but now Unlucky Chucky is headed to the box. But we <laughs> still got three jammers out for Cape Girardeau now instead of two as Bad Ash is coming around on another scoring pass. Those toe, you just can't stop those toe stops. The Raging Jim. The three-word phrase, a butt tuba, is also a palindrome. Yep. <laughs> oh, there's a million. The butt tuba? <laughs> <laughs> Bad Ash. That's 12 points so far for Athens in this jam. Oh, Star Pass. Star complete. Pass. Smack Salatl. Taking that star pass, taking a hit to the outside, but managing to use that core strength to stay in bounds. Bad Ash completing another pass for four more points and calls the jam. All right, let's see these penalties. Athens keeping it pretty clean still. Spice World highest at this point. Looking all right. Oh dear. Ooh. That's usually what happens. Corella to kill has to fouled get out. <laughs> Infamous GA. I was wondering. I thought their bench looked a little, um, a little empty over there. Got some foul yeah. outs and got some others that are in danger. And we had that happen once in a game, and I remember there were there was hardly any blockers left, so we just kept going out. Yeah. Sweet low down with that lead jammer for Athens, skating against Squid, who is about a quarter track behind.
Yeah, the end of three games and you're getting frustrated at the end of a game that's fairly lopsided. Mm-hmm. It, gets, it gets a little hard not to want to. It is. It's hard. What we, would, what we would always start to do is really start to look for the moral victory. So, like, at this oh, point, yeah. with seven minutes left, we might say, you know what, we're going to get above 75 or something yeah. like that. And so instead of the goal being to win the game, the goal becomes, like, a certain number or our goal is to stay together as a pack for the next, yeah. you know, 10 minutes. And, and, um, or our goal is to get lead jammer or, you know, something different. Yeah, we work those with the kids all the time just mm-hmm. to keep their spirits high. Yeah, exactly. Something like this happens. Trickster jamming for Athens. Slam I am for Cape Girardeau. Slam is getting MVP in my heart because Slam is literally jamming every other jam right now. Track cut called on. Is it Trickster? I, I don't think Trickster has heard it at this point. I think Trax- Trickster yeah. is now getting a second penalty for insubordination. Yeah. I think Trickster has two penalties, but we'll see. Yep. I got two, yes. Slam I Am is lead and gets one minute now to try and score as many points as they can. This is really important for Cape Girardeau to stay out of the box. Like, if I was <laughs> a Cape Girardeau... Oh! <laughs> yeah, they're... They're running out oh, of players. At this they point. are running out of players. So we got to play clean. Like, really, if I were Cape Girardeau right now, I would just say, hold. Stay. Just stay there. Just let Slam try and push. Yeah. Just hold. But I think Slam is tired, too. So it, that's a hard yeah, decision, right? Right? Like, I think, I think Slam's got the skills to do it. See? There you go. There's one. You get to a point eventually. Wait, you're just like, that I just want to get through double, this game. That was not a double penalty. I think Trickster genuinely did not hear. I, I don't know how long you get, but I think Trickster genuinely had no idea that they were getting called on that first penalty. So Trickster was only in for one penalty. Oh, they might review that then. Well, do you know the I'm rules? Pretty sure like, he, do you have to? Do you I'm have sure to hear the penalty? I saw Croc do the across the chest, which mm. is in sub. Well, Trickster's going back again. Now for a forearm. Can you, are you going to be able to pull up the, thank you. (laughs) He's like, I'm already on top of it, don't you worry. (laughs) Or give me that pretty graphic where I can see what everybody has. What number is uh, Trickster? Trickster, 72. Oh, yeah, just a cut and a forearm. That's only two penalties for Trickster. And those were the first penalties Trickster has gotten. The Great Catsby is the only other uh, Cape Girardeau blocker right now that is at risk with five penalties, but otherwise the rest look okay for five minutes. <laughs> oh, you called this official timeout, didn't you? Yeah. They're reviewing I might that. Have. <laughs> They're reviewing that. So you saw it in sub. I'm pretty sure. Mm. Yeah. Now we're just analyzing Derby. We've finally gotten off all of our other distracting topics and we're actually focusing on the game. I mean, it, when you're coaching, that's the one thing you're paying attention to when you mm-hmm. see penalties call, and especially when you're pretty sure there's going to be a second one, and it's like, okay, that person doesn't do that. <laughs> we so need if to you fix were that. the Athens coach, you would have probably called an official review for yeah. this? Yeah. And I don't think this was even the Athens. So here's the question. This is clearly the officials calling a timeout to discuss it. If you're yep. the coach, are you going to like wait a second before calling the official review to see if the officials are going to talk about it first? Or are you just going to yeah, call the official review? You want to wait a second and kind of, I'd, I'd be walking out there and talking to somebody because I'd just be like, are, what are you, you, if you just talked about it? that? Because yeah. if you did, okay, what's, what's the oh verdict? God. If not, I think you need to talk about this. Yeah, because you don't want to waste your official time out. No. So if they're already going to talk about it, then why use it? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. That makes sense. Well, as we've only got five minutes left in this game, um, as I, okay, Lexi saw it too. She saw the, saw the two penalty hand signal. So let's, do we see if Trickster, they might, they must have taken one away. But this is my question with rules. Mm -hmm. If you genuinely do not hear that you have a penalty, can you get an in-sub if you absolutely, like I was watching and Trickster had no idea that they were getting called on a penalty. And as soon as they did, they started moving. But it it did take a while. That's the hard part. Right. Um, Because technically the refs are as loud as they can be. Supposedly, mm-hmm. which I, I believe most of them are definitely being as loud as they. But again, these guys, these are the same people that have done six games in a weekend as well. So yelling for six games is gets a little, mm-hmm. a little rough. Yeah. So 
Yeah. It's tough. I understand that it can be hard sometimes, but they're supposed to do everything in their power to get your attention and do what but they need to look, do to get you off the track. Look what's happening. But if it doesn't happen, see what's I don't happening? know. Because if they adjusted it to two, you won't see it. Wait, was Trickster already in the box? Yeah, she, uh, on the second one, yeah. Okay, let's see if a penalty was added. Yeah, you can look on the... Mm -hmm. I love having EPLT. I know. Oh, wait, now there's four. G. G is penalties for unsporting conduct. That's, yep. Misconduct included. So are we... How long That's is Trickster going to be sitting, do you think? Should be a minute. But was already in for that forearm. For the forearm. Oh, for like eight so seconds. It's going to be so like a minute. Maybe, and yeah, like 50 seconds or so. Okay. So, power jam for Squid and Cape Girardeau. We've got one Cape Girardeau blocker in the box and is now out of the box. So, let's see what their plan is for this uh, power jam. With four minutes and a, four and a half minutes left in this game, this, like I've told you before, this is the last game of the tournament for Cape and Athens. Go ahead and shout out your favorite skater in the comments. If you feel so inclined, you could also send us a super chat or a super sticker, and we can feature you up on the screen. But we'd love to hear what you are seeing in the game and what you're enjoying watching, and give them a final shout out for this uh, for their amazing work over this weekend. Oh yeah, still sitting. We're 50 seconds in. Mm -hmm. I think should be standing now. Anna, Anna, Anna's agreeing one. with you. Skaters are responsible for listening yep. too. Spoken as someone who got an insub when I genuinely didn't hear. They may have gotten. Well, we we looked at it. There were two. There were two misportings. Yeah. So, okay. Direction getting so, called on yeah. a Athens blocker, which is letting Squid out to grab eight points. So I think there was a misconduct, and then a misconduct for leaving the box early. Maybe I don't know. I mean, it's been a minute and that's so a long. minute and twenty seconds. Uh -huh. So, yeah, that was sitting for almost three penalties. Yeah. Trickster now out of the box. Trickster went literally from zero to four penalties in one game. <laughs> that's, you know, that's some sort of a record. It's, uh, no, I've had one. Oh, I've really? Had one do You've that. seen it happen yeah. before? Yeah. I'll be nice and not mention it. Like it's, like <laughs> it's like a special, you know, it's. Because it happened here last year. Oh, really? <laughs> at, at, the, at the, yeah, at Small Town. <laughs> Or sorry, that was Squid. Squid was calling the jam from the <laughs> ground, and after calling it, put their hands up in the air in a like, yeah. <laughs> Twelve points for Cape Girardeau. Carol Gregg says MVP for Athens is Sunflower Smackdown for them. I was talking about Sunflower earlier yeah. and how like really Sunflower is just owning the pack out there, like controlling the pack, controlling the defense, doing such a great job. Consistent. Very That's the consistent. Word I, would use. I love that word. Yeah. That's exactly what I would say, too. I don't know who's jamming. Slam oh, Slam I Am B. for Cape Girardeau. And is it B? Yep. B is buzzing through the pack <laughs> 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 to get lead jammer. Slam taking a hit to the outside. Able to get back up and taking another hit to the outside. How do these jammers keep going and going and going with all this? I don't. I'm not Kat, a cardio person, Kat so says, I, I sure don't Kat know. says, how can I pick just one? <laughs> Ash, B, Spice, Sweet, Burns, Jess, Trixie. They've all been so great. Proud AORD fan for sure. That's how I felt earlier when I was trying to choose an MVP of, of anybody. Oh. I'm like, nope, everybody. Yeah. Everybody's my MVP. <laughs> Less than two minutes left in this game. But stick around because we've got the championship game coming up after this. Black Diaspora and Bisman Bombshells. Biz Man bombshells. Yeah. That they, one took me a minute to figure out. Yeah, Biz Man, because it's two different cities. Oh, is that what it is? Yeah, that's what it is. I had no Bismarck idea. Bismarck and Man something that I can't say. What? <laughs> They're across the river. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure it's on a map. <laughs> Bad Ash up on those toe stops. I love it when people have signature moves. Like, Bad Ash oh, yeah. is definitely the toe stops. Yeah. Really? Oh. Getting called on a track cut. Sorry, that was my opinion voice coming out. <laughs> I honestly wasn't looking that closely at the feet, so. I think one did just get outside. One got out, yeah. yeah. I just was enjoying oh. the toe stop so much. Oh, Shanana ooh, Jam. Shanana Jam. We definitely need a sound for that one. I liked it the other day when you were like, Shanana Jam. Copyright Kimbo Slicer. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Copyright Kimbo Slicer. Copyright Circle City Roller Derby. <laughs> 
I mean, if it's Kimbo's, I don't know. We kind of claim her, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I like to borrow her once in a while. <laughs> I got to get her on the mic again. We had so much fun last year at Small Town Smackdown. She plays too much to be on the mic, though. That's part of the thing. She's yeah. still ha very actively busy in Derby. And she coaches, too. So. That's, yeah, that's yeah. why we made her the PC's coach. <laughs> We're like, you're doing it anyway. Yeah, she does. She, <laughs> just, she cannot help it. Just tuning in, Tiny says, who's in the next game heading home from IHOG? Hey, how did IHOG go? I'm excited to hear I didn't get to really watch anything, so I want to know. Um, Shay hasn't heard any puns and is very disappointed. Oh, Shay, oh. We, will, we will get you some of those. Don't you worry. Um, Tiny, the next game is the championship game, and it will be between Black Diaspora and Bizman Bombshells. Shay, I'm so sorry you haven't heard any puns. The clock has come to a close, but we'll make sure to give you a pun before you leave here. Bad Ash threw for four points. It just depends. They're go we're somebody, going all the way to the end here. If you're somebody who likes tacos or not, if you don't like tacos, I'm not your friend. <laughs> but I'm Chuck. <laughs> <laughs> we're gonna I we're got gonna, one in. <laughs> we're going we're gonna to finish up with a pun. <laughs> you know, I'm going to go try and stay cool because, you know, I'm a little bit of a celebrity here and I have, <laughs> I have too many fans. So I'm going to go keep cool with all my fans. <laughs> All right. Well, Sunday, today is a Sunday. I know Sundays are a little sad, but the day before is sadder day. Oh, wow. And with that, I have enjoyed spending time with you and Athens Cape Gerardo Roller Derby. Great job to both teams. We are a just about to be able to see our championship game between Black Diaspora and Bizman Bombshells. We will be back in about 20 minutes with that final game. Eric, thanks so much for joining uh, me. Had a wonderful time with you. And, Always uh, a good time. I'm sure we'll see you again on the mic soon. Oh, anytime you need me. All right. See you later.